Welcome to Sandbar Serenity. Today, I wanna to talk to you about making one of the most important knots in boating, whether you're on a sailboat or whether you're on a powerboat. The bowline knot is very, very critical to know for every mariner out there. So typically your bow lines look like this. One end has a closed loop on it and the other end is open. And this is where the bowline knot comes in. So we're gonna learn how to tie a loop on the other end, which can be very, very helpful sometimes. And then we're also gonna learn how to tie this around something. So let's jump into this and find out how to do it. All right, here's how we tie a bola knot. So the looped end of the rope is down here. This is our free end here. And all we do is we come in first and we make a loop on top of the rope. Okay, so you can see this loop is on top. Then we grab the loose end, we go through the loop around and then just simply back through we make this little pretzel look give it a nice tug and there you go and that's it that's your loop that's your bowline knot okay so if i want to make this same knot just a little bit smaller then i can just pull right here and you can see it gets smaller and then i just pull on this side and it keeps the integrity of the knot. Okay, if I want to make it bigger, just come back, pull this guy right on through, pull on this side, and now my loop is bigger. So this is incredibly helpful, especially if I want to go into a cleat very quickly. I'm done. Okay, now what if I want to take this same knot and not tie it through a cleat like this? What if uh, I'm doing something else? Let's say I want to tie this to a post um, or I want to tie it to uh, an upright on my boat um, to attach a fender to it. How do I do that? Okay, very simple. So we start off again with the same loop right over the top and we're going to run right through the object or around the object and then we're just back to the initial starting point again the rabbit goes out of the hole around the tree back in the hole give it a nice little tug and now we're tied on to that object um, however that helps us we've now got two ends that we can push through another cleat or we can lap onto something if we need to. So that makes it very, very simple for us. And then if I wanna tighten this down, again, I just pull through here, give it a nice little tug there, and I've got an even tighter loop on that object that I'm tying it to, okay? All right, so one last time, we'll step through this. Let me untie this really quick. And we'll do it one more time. So we have our tree. We make our loop. The rabbit comes through the hole, around the tree, and back through into the hole. And there's our bowline knot. Okay, here's a practical application of the bowline knot. So here we have our tree. We're going to make a loop and we want to tie up to this post. Now, in this example, we have a nice dock and we have a post, but let's say we've, you know, uh, gone down a, a river or we're on a lake and there isn't a dock and we want a beach and we want to tie up to, let's say, a tree or something along those lines. Then basically all we do, here's our tree, here's the hole. Make the loop around the object. The rabbit comes through the hole, around the tree, and back into the hole again. And then we can tighten it up. Now, if we want to get a nice tight fit on the object, then we loosen and we pull, and there we go. 
and that'll hold you right where you need to be no matter what the currents are coming in. And then to undo, we just pull through and that's it. Well, that wraps up this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this uh, instructional video on how to tie a bowline knot very helpful. Please check back with us in the future for more videos.